Welcome back to Frontier Fishing with Ryan McDonald. And we're back at it. Today, we're heading out back to a favorite spot of ours. We're heading out to Wobbleman Lake. Gonna see if we can get into some big walleye and some big pike. Uh, feels good to be back. There's been a bit of a hiatus here for probably the last few months, ever since I got back from my trip from up north. But uh, yeah, today we're looking forward to getting out, catching some big fish, and uh, we'll see you when we get out into the ice. Hey Daisy, are you ready to go fishing? Are you ready to go fishing? Hey, okay. Marcel should be here sometime soon. No go. Yeah, it's like 5.30 in the morning. We just got the truck all packed up. Yeah, we're gonna be taking off here right away. So, stay tuned. We'll see you out on the ice. Yeah, scoop should be in there. Right in that black. Hey! And we'll just plop her right on top of that hole. Do you want to go on top? Yeah, there? we'll just go right on top of that. Cool, good enough. Other people out here. Okay, we're here. We made it, and we're all set up, ready to go. Slowly, people are coming out. Some of the shacks. But yeah, here we are. We're back. Feels good to be back on the hard water. It's uh, been too long since I went line, so I figured today was a good day to come out. A couple days before my birthday, we usually come out around this time. It's January 6th. So yeah, we'll see what happens with the day here. The pups are going. Daisy's all happy and excited to be out. And Marcel just ran to the truck to go grab the rest of our stuff, so good thing. because. We're not that far. George just over there. Tents here. Easy hike. So yeah, I'm gonna get the rest of these rods set up and get camp set up and get comfy. First tip up of the year. Sweet. I missed him, don't worry man. See how 
here I like using my floating jigs. Basically I put a sinker down on the bottom and then I'll float a floating jig head about a foot, foot and a half off the bottom. <clears throat> Tip it with a little, a little bit on. And that seems to be the ticket out here. So just have this one go off. Oh. I'm just going to show you what we do here. So we have these floating jig heads. Basically you just take our minnow, throw it on there, and I give it about a foot, foot and a half with the line, with a little sinker on it. So then she'll sit about roughly a foot and a half off the bottom. And drop this guy down. So we just had that, my other tip up went off here a couple minutes ago I'm using the exact same thing so just drilled this hole cleaned it out let's see what happens with this one sideways and we're set this was last year's Surprise at the tail end of the season last year when uh, Marcel and Justin spent three quarters of the day trying to fish this thing up. I never did get a good look at it until now. That's hilarious. We just happened to drop down the camera. <laughs> it was just right there. Like you couldn't have placed that even better. That was hilarious. popular spot here. Never been like this in years past. This is crazy. Eat easy? Yeah. Oh, that guy has one on over there. Walleye. <laughs> <clears throat> huh? Look at him. He's got a bit of a, he's got a bit of a funky hump to him. Popped our cherry. Well, this tip up's gone off twice now. So, it's a good summer. Yeah, busy out here, but we're catch fish. Other people are managing to catch fish. This guy right here is a good one. So, that's good. Good time. Those cookies that you all made are deadly. <clears throat> Thank you, honey. Janelle's the best. Yeah. A 
loving, loving the, the hoarfrost on the trees and the bite in the air. And Daisy digging in a hole. And Daisy digging in a hole, probably trying to find some bait. People out here than what they used to be. A few years ago, we used to be the only ones who ever used to be out here. Now, <clears throat> we have permanent huts and just tons of people. I'm not seeing a whole lot of people running for rods though. I'm not hearing a lot of hooting and hollering. So, I think it's one of those days. It's nice that it's overcast though. Take some stuff back to the truck. Overall, been a pretty quiet morning. Not much really happening. First light, first bite seems to hold true for this spot. Maybe we'll get a bit of an afternoon bite. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so, Something that wasn't cool. We took some of our gear out <clears throat> and came back to um, grab some chairs. And we had the chairs leaning against the truck here. And one of these vehicles here thinks it's cool to just take our chairs. And now Marcel doesn't have a chair to sit on and I'm not too pleased. So, fishermen, <clears throat> just because someone has chairs leaning against their truck doesn't mean you can just take that stuff like do you not think people are going to come back and get the rest of their gear i don't know it's a pretty cunty thing to do Nice that it's overcast. I like days like this on Wobbling. <clears throat> now if we can just get the fish to cooperate. So we've had three tip-ups up. I had my jaw jacker go off twice. So we know there's fish in the area. Seems like it's a bit of a light bite today. And we'll just keep going around checking stuff. The floating jig heads in the minnows seem to be the ticket so far. So we'll check back. Finally, you know, as, 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 as soon as we say, hey, we're gonna go soon, then this fucking. Well, that's enough for one day. 
One it's fish. Snowing. It's snowing now. Wow. Finally. <laughs> Finally. We haven't had snow in the area since last year. <laughs> End oh of last year. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Caught one fish. We had tip ups go off numerous times, so <laughs> pardon me, it seemed to be a bit of a light bite today. Robin wasn't the greatest, but we'll be back some other time. We're gonna go explore some other lakes this year because it's a big world out there. Lots to do. <laughs> Lots to do. <laughs> Lots of fish to catch. And I need to get healthier after being sick like this. So. But yeah, we'll be back for our next adventure, probably in a couple weeks. So see you then.